Halt! Standing Jew! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury fairest of all maids I know by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend! Stand and fight! Well, how long you gonna make me wait? Had enough? Yes. Look stood with you. But but the next time we meet. Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Bella must. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Seems like you could use a Witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse. The Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the Circle of Stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know. What comes next once life subsides? Mine is all the fate that decides. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each one say by what they're hurried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? The storm prepared to end their grief. Let's begin forefathers Eve. Ye who wander on the gale. Ever caught in this world's thrall, see the sharp, gentle pale. Ye we summon, ye we call. A sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes.
Who are you? He knows. Should I drive him away? Nice. <laughs> I've come for you, Patricide. Be gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! Abomination! Stop this at once! Pierre and Souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy! Help me! Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take him, and disperse the others. Good folk! Leave not these grounds! Ah! Ye cannot break the circle! It is an ill turn. Ill. Woe away. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. The bloodshed, it do any harm? Tainted lies the circle now. They who thirst for the gore of men shall come. God's willing, they will be few, and the Pella shall finish the right. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. Something whispers, something peeps, someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is all is in the This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves! If your lives you value, run! Alas, all is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back, likely to keep his word. Old man Ambros, the Pella fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambros lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Black Bell. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Why 
and heavy wheels, merchant's wagon. Veered off the road at high speed, doesn't bode well. Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepis. Wonder what spell requires that. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kirill explained this one. starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The king been careful. Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole, left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. 
Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Faster. Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. All right. Let's get down to business. What are you talking about? Sex. That's why we're here, isn't it? Oh. You may know about wine, but you remain quite unsophisticated otherwise. That's very good, because boars are much better in bed. Now, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. Kira, wanna play hide and seek? Why not? Good, won't have to fumble with fasteners. Found me. Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I've nothing on me. But I'll think of something. Call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no, it has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Eggvein Navi. Kira? Where? Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. Ah, Fike Isle. The tower. For. Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. 
Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid doesn't forget, and Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me laughing. I'm going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. This is suicide, Kira. You'll wind up tied to a stake, burned to bolster the morals of the masses while entertaining them. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day! I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. So, see you at Karamoran? Beds free of bedbugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt. An illusion. Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? What are you doing here? What? This sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the old god, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, and then cursed the old village. The all god, you call him. First I've heard. Is some new deity? Nay, tis ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this. Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood. Suddenly, for no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then, Roslav heard a voice from the ground. Demand an offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since then, bearing gifts. In exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm hmm. Plain to see that. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. But what can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this All God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand afore the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. Oh, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. 
They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought, driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? <laughs> How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. What? Who dares disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected the All God to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curds and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Been in this hole long? For a century or so. One winter I found shelter here. Built a fire so large the flames leapt through the crack, lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke, and suddenly heard a peasant. A voice out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus, I became a god. Parasite, more like. Maybe so. But what of Freya and Melitale then, hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, given naught in return. I talk at least. Listen here, Lord Ass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the ravens. Plowing reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll sup more modestly. But just till the end of the war, not one day longer. Anything new? Talk to your old god, face to face. And? Will he show us mercy? He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you. I told you the all god's merciful understanding. Thanks, Witcher. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? Might want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating. Spot Hannah. Looking for a hunter named Neelan. Found him. What do you want? Hear about your notice. I'm a witcher. When do you last see your wife? Oh. Five days past. Before dawn. On my way out to hunt, she were asleep. I come back. Found no sign of her. Notice anything strange? Maybe her behavior? No, she were her happy, smiling self. Nothing different of She's not run off, if that's what you're asking. Maybe she went to the neighboring village, forgot to tell you. No, my sister were never gone this long before. Tried looking for her? Asked around the village, none saw her go. She must have left when they were still sleeping. Told her time and again not to wander off on her own. She never listened. I must have some men folk to scour the woods. Nothing. I'll look in the woods. You might have missed something. Ask around, too. She have any friends? Hannah kept... keeps to herself, mostly. Watches the blacksmith's youngins at times. And in the village, Glenna, the butcher's wife, she likes her best. Thanks. I'll try to find her, but no promises. Spot. Greetings, you Glenna. 
Aye, but gristle and marrow is all I'm willing to sell, and you'll have to wait till I'm done carving it. You the butcher's wife? Butcher? Please. Might have called him a butcher when we lived in the shade of Novigrad's walls. Now he deals in carrion, fallen animals, their bones still fit for soup. So, buying something? Wanted to talk to you about Hannah. Hear you were friendly. She come by at times? We talk? She seems strange lately. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. Strange. No? A cheerful soul always. If I'm to judge, it's the wolves got her. Been howling the nights through lately. Even the Baron's men are feared to come by. Hannah must have gone to the wood to gather mushrooms, maybe. Straight too deep and the howlers got her. Thanks. Farewell. Wow. My dad used to make swords like yours. Can I touch it? It's sharp. Better not. Need to talk to your father. I forged swords once. Now it's scythes and o's. For good arms, you'll need to go to Novigrad. Wanted to ask you about Hannah. Heard she looked after your children. Aunt Hannah? Do you know where she is? No, that's why I'm here. She maybe tell you where she was going, or anything else? Mm. She said turnips are healthy, and we ought to eat them. I saw her go to the forest, with another lady. It was dawn almost. I'd gone out so I wouldn't wet the pallet. The forest? She's done for. Why? A huge pack roams the area. None from the village dares go in the forest. Neelan's only one not afeared, but then he's a hunter. Did you get a good look at the other woman? Know who it was? No. She walked in front of Aunt Hannah. I couldn't see. Thanks. Farewell. What are you doing here? Shouldn't be in the forest alone. I came to tell you. You needn't look for Hannah. She'd have returned long past were she alive. I'll pay you twice Neilan's pledge. Just tell the man his Hannah's dead. Don't want to know what happened to her? I've no illusions, Witcher. In Velen, you're gone as long as she's been. You don't come back. Hannah's dead for certain. Neelan ought to accept his loss. Move on with his life. Sorry. Not in the habit of leaving jobs undone. Folks speak true about you witchers. You're heartless beasts. Smell of a rotting corpse. Blood spattered all around. Must be Hannah. Torn to pieces, literally. Blood and paw marks. Wonder where they lead. Shit. Climbed the tree. I can't get up there. Maybe find something else on the ground. Man's clothes. Shredded, but no sign of blood. Who rips their own clothes off, leaves them in the woods? Looks like a hunter's quarters.
You insane? Stand back, he's dangerous. Not to me, he's not! It's Neelan! Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but it is a curse, so sorry, but I have to. You don't understand! I love him! He was near to being mine till you came along! Go away! Leave us be! What is this nonsense? I love him. Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Did you know I shot myself in here to wait out me change? I knew, and I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I wanted her to fear you. She'd not have stayed. And we could be together. You brought her here. That night. It was the reason I had the taste of blood in me mouth come morn. I did it for us. She was to see you turn, not more. I didn't want her death. You've got to believe me. I don't. And I'll kill you willingly. First time for that, in fact. This is between the two of you. I refuse to meddle. But cross my path again, and I will kill you. No! Mercy! You have no mercy for your sister. I'll have none for you. <laughs> You, I'd kill you. I know as well what you said. Do it. If you want death, find some reins and a tree with a strong limb. Wouldn't work. Couldn't do it. Always been a coward. Do it. Please. Greetings. Yeah? Heard you have a problem, a monster you call a Shrieker. Aye, prowls about it does. Snatches cows and goats mostly, but it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Mm-hmm. Took a hatchet. Need an ambush for the Shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Gut stretched o'er the crown of a tree like Gossamer. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put him in a grave. High time a professional took a look at this Shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. But... You might find the lad art to chat with. Still mourns his father, methinks. I see. Where'll I find him? At me homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago. Can we talk? Let me be. Calm down, I just wanna... Go, I said. I want to avenge your father, but to do that I gotta know what killed him. Shrieker killed him. Don't you know? That name doesn't mean much to me. Describe the beast. Tell me what it looked like. Something like a rooster. But huge. With a lizard's tail. I heard Ruffler barking in the woods. Ran to see what you were on about. There were dad in the bushes. A hole through his belly. And he went moaning, screaming. I wanted to help, but how could I? How? Nothing you could do for him, kid. Beast has to die, that's all. Leave it to me. Take care, kid.
Feathers. Narrows down the list of suspects. A cockatrice. Tracks lead to the cave. Greetings. Yeah? Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank ye, Master Witcher. Your reward, take much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Thank you. Any problems in the future, you keep me in mind. <laughs> 